Dustin, congratulations firstly. I want uh, you to tell me a little bit about your two stars and why these two were perfect for these roles. <laughs> uh, well, I thought the, the, the fact that she watches The Bachelor and he did it would be a great place to start Dynamic. casting the film. Right. Um, They're meant for each other. No, look, I think so much of directing is hiring the right actors and getting out of their way. And I think a lot of that was what this movie was for me, is allowing them to bring themselves to this film. Uh, Haley has this light about her. She can make you smile. Uh, and she just is just this big, massive ball of energy. Mm -hmm. And it was important with a movie like this that your lead character emits like a, a, a joy and a radiance because it could be so easy to like fall into like this idea of what illness looks like. And a lot of this is, is just kind of deconstructing and redefining what illness really is. Mm -hmm. And these kids are not defined by this illness. Cole, uh, besides being just negative, you know, <laughs> Cole Sprouse from that. television oh and right. magnanimous and handsome and uh, all of those things, he's so smart. And another interesting thing about he's Cole. He's so smart. He went to college. <laughs> he did. <laughs> another interesting thing about Cole, but here's something true. So when, you're, when you have CF, when you spend, you know, a third or fourth of your life in the hospital, you grow up around doctors. You grow up around adults and you have to grow up a lot faster than normal and an interesting parallel is Cole grew up on television and grew up with you know producers and directors and adults in his life and because of fame had to grow up faster and I found a really interesting comparison between Cole and a lot of the kids I've met with CF where they're just wise beyond their years and uh, and also his photography and his, the character in the movie has its own creative outlet so together when you put them together, there's just like spark, as you can see. Yeah. Uh, and that's my job to get out of their way and make sure we capture that spark. Yeah, you struck gold for sure. As an actor yourself, how does that help with directing? For me, it's about creating a safe space mm -hmm. so that they can be vulnerable and make choices that they may feel are stupid or wrong and let them know that like whatever they do is I, I have their back. And for me, that's what helps me as an actor. And I was so proud of both of you guys because they went I'm there and it was you. <laughs> Justin didn't get out of the way. You are collaborative. You were like open to like making something together, which... Which is what it is. I mean, yeah. look, it's a painting and we all have to, you know, all of us, t it's not like every, we all directed this movie to a certain extent. Well, you and, directed No, but it's true. But it is, it's a, it's a collaboration and no one's idea is better than anyone else's. And a lot of the movie, honestly, is very different than the script because they brought their own ideas to these characters. Oh, that's awesome. And that's what makes it so special mm -hmm. to me is we all like... It was like a, you know, yeah. it was a camp. We were all in there together and we had yeah. each other's backs. That makes it such a good experience, for sure. I love that. Um, what do you, I asked them what they hope audiences take away from it. As the director, what do you hope audiences take from this film? My hope, when I set out to make this film, my original hope was that I wanted audiences to leave with an appreciation for life. Mm. Um, you know, if there was an actual action, I remember saying, oh, it'd be awesome if people would call somebody that they loved. Like call your mom and dad, or call your sister, or a friend maybe that you're in a fight with, and just like, like you know, let's just, just wanted to tell you I love you, and also to not give up. I think that we live in this digital age where we're so used to like, you know, we swipe and we, you know, we swipe for love now, or go on television shows for love, <laughs> as you guys were just talking about, uh, or <laughs> and, and and there's no this call. like instant gratification <laughs> to our culture, and it's very easy to just give up on things because there's so many options everywhere, right? And I think that there are certain things that are worth fighting for. Yeah. Love, life, all kinds of things. And I wanted people to kind of walk away from this movie and have a little bit of like a new found sense of, oh wait, that might be worth it. It doesn't have to be yeah. easy. Oh. There can be joy in the struggle and the Everything hardship as well. Everything that's worth it is hard. Everything that's worth it is hard. Oh. It's true. If it's easy, it's true. Yeah. yeah. I love that message. You guys must have felt like so enlightened. I feel like working. this guy's a saint. He's an angel. Like, he actually is an like, angel. No, it's true. you are. He is. Justin has more just like radiating love than any human I've ever seen. It's incredible. Like you're just like, love, 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 <laughs> love. <laughs> but he, so this movie, like it was. I'm waiting for Cole's like quippy one-liner here. <laughs> He's working Ready? on it. Go. <laughs> uh, and action. Uh, uh, no, you are an angel. One more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell, never miss a video.